When air sealing an attic, you're going to need a whole array of different products, both for caulking and sealing, as well as for blocking off big air leaks. So here's just an array of some of the products that I use. Good quality caulking can be just something like a painter's caulk, as long as it stays pliable over time. So another one's fire type caulking. This is going to be fire resistant and used around masonry fireplaces or hot exhaust pipes for heating appliances. Spray foam. These are good for filling medium to large size gaps. This is a professional style gun. You can also use some of the single use cans that you find at a home center. Tapes for sealing uh, joints in some of your hard products like drywall or rigid foam. A house wrap tape or aluminum faced acrylic tape. Going up against masonry fireplaces, filling gaps up to anything that's hot, you're gonna need some pieces of metal, even if it's some recycled drip edge like I have here. Of course, working in an attic, you're gonna be dealing with dust, so a good quality dust mass is also useful. And then for rigid products to fill big holes like a, a soffit that goes up into an attic with a big open hole, I use rigid foam panels. They give you not only insulation, but also block the air or even just some leftover pieces of drywall or plywood or OSB also work as well. And the one product you don't see too much in residential construction, it's more a commercial product, is acoustical sealant. It usually comes in these large tubes. The nice thing about this is it's not very expensive, but it works really well because it doesn't really harden over time. It just skins over, it remains very pliable. So whatever it sticks to maintains its seal over the long term. And because you'll be working with a lot of these sticky products, you're going to want to wear rubber gloves when working with it so you don't get all crudded up and spend hours cleaning yourself.